Hey, it's Mike Monday here. Have you ever noticed that seemingly the smallest and most unimportant things that can make a massive difference to you actually finishing music? One of these that uh, is a huge game changer, but it doesn't seem to be until you actually try it and practice it, is that of list making. You see, I just finished a session about half an hour ago, and it was an hour, an hour and a half long session, and I was uh, streaming it. Uh, luckily, it went to uh, private, and uh, I found at the end of the stream that my mic wasn't plugged in. So while you could hear what was coming out of the DAW, you couldn't hear me talking while I was explaining what I was doing. So my first, th my my response to that was to create this streaming checklist, where I literally go through all of the things that I need to do to make sure that I'm all set up for a stream. I did it just before this stream. What this does is it takes the, I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time because it's just listed there. Every time I start a stream where I'm doing a production session, I go through that list. So how is this relevant to you making music? Well, making lists is an integral part of my system, the automatic music machine. We export the uh, the session, the, the, the results of the session. So we have a piece of music to listen to. We listen to it at a separate time in a separate place, pre preferably. And then we make a list of things to try for the next session. It doesn't have to be an exhaustive list. It doesn't have to be everything that you've, uh, you, that you've thought of, but just the things that you're going to do in the next session. As you can see, I didn't get to the end of my list here. That doesn't matter, matter either. The point is just to be making progress in multiple sessions and then you just go through the list. What this does is it doesn't it stops you relying on your memory, reducing the, the amount of mental resources that you need, allowing you to make more uh, decisions so you get less tired. It means that you actually make the decisions about what to try and do when you're in a better position to actually make those decisions, when you're more objective, when you're listening to the music rather than making the uh, music. And the other thing that it does is it helps you avoid rabbit holes. If you do, if I'd have actually remembered to plug the mic in, if I'd had a, had a list, a checklist uh, for it, if I'd have remembered to plug plug the mic in, you would have seen in this uh, session that exact thing happening. I was I, I was starting at one point to get sucked down a rabbit hole where I was trying to find a particular uh, uh, setting on a uh, plugin. Uh, it, and I was starting to just kind of do that flicking through presets thing. But, but because I had a list, I went, oh, I'm just going to go and check my list for something else to do. And that stopped me from getting sucked down a rabbit hole. Now, it might seem something as simple as making uh, lists in between sessions from, from listening to the audio file wouldn't make a big difference. That is if you've never tried it. So uh, please Try making lists in between sessions. It makes an absolutely enormous difference on your ability to make progress. And now I've got this uh, checklist. I hope I won't be uh, <laughs> uh, uh, make, uh, streaming stuff that I can't uh, share with you. So if you want to see more of my production streams and these short uh, review videos, then make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and I'll see you again soon. Onwards and upwards.